Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. So today I wanted to do a nice like Saturday afternoon cozy vlog, just kind of chilling with me. I'm going to be making some crochet designs for future videos, including a deer book sleeve, and I'm gonna kind of draw up the design. I've kind of got an idea here. This is the little drawing that I made just to kind of as a quick visual. I just did a quick little drawing to kind of visualize what I wanted to do for a future video and now I'm going to kind of show you the process of how I actually get it physically made. So I'm going to show you the process of how I actually design it to have it having it fully done. I'm going to kind of be picking out different wool colors for it and kind of sampling different stitches that I want to do. So yeah, I'm going to take you all through that and we're just going to spend a nice little afternoon together. I've got my cup of tea here. Look at this cup I got for my birthday. It's from Oliver Bonus. So cute. So let's get into it. Okay, so I just grabbed a few colour samples um, that I just kind of wanted to see. I definitely know that I want to use this kind of brown um, like tweed colour for the main part of the book sleeve because um, I just really think that that's kind of like giving like the more wintry autumn kind of feel um, and then for the deer I think I was going to do like a darker brown deer with some like pale brown so I just grabbed this like piece of scrap that I, I once started and never um, I never finished I don't even know what this was meant to be but it's like um, this kind of pale pale brown colour so I thought that for kind of the spots on the deer or anything like that and like the lighter parts on the deer and then I did want to include some pumpkins so I've got this kind of dark um, green colour and a orange um, but I don't know if I want to have a more softer green or a dark kind of bottle green or kind of more of a Christmas green I'm not really sure yet so I've just got that handy so I kind of have my colours with me when I draw up this design um, so I'm kind of thinking like this as the main part of the book sleeve and then a little deer um, like laying down and then it's kind of um, got pumpkins around it and then perhaps some um, added little added parts like maybe some bees or flowers but I haven't really got that far yet so I'll just see how it goes but I'm definitely thinking like a deer sitting amongst like a pumpkin patch that's kind of my my vision here So this is kind of the concept that I've come up with um, and I'm pretty happy with this so far. I've just done like a main kind of like deer image that I've drawn and then three little pumpkins and some flowers and then the background is going to be like this yarn. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to kind of work out how I'm going to draw and write the pattern for the main part of the deer because this shape is going to be quite hard to kind of create on its own in one go so I might have to do like three or four smaller shapes and then kind of join them together so I'm just going to kind of experiment in some way with the shapes and kind of working out how many how many I need to do and how I'm going to attach them and also the same for the pumpkins and the flowers I mean the flowers will be pretty simple and I think the pumpkins will be pretty simple but the shape of that deer is quite complex so I'm going to kind of have to work out how I'm going to make that um so i'm going to kind of get a visual of the shape and then from that work out exactly how i'm going to to write the pattern so i'm going to basically just be experimenting now for the next few hours on the shape and the best and easiest way to kind of make these shapes and then i'll come back and kind of give you a little bit of an idea of of what i've come up with so yeah Okay, so it's been a couple of hours, it's been about two hours, and I've managed to come up with some sort of shape for the deer. Um, it's not perfect, and I don't think I like this colour particularly for the deer. I think I'm going to go with a lighter brown, and then keep the lightest brown the same. Um, but yeah, because I just, I'm not sure about this one, I don't think it's the right colour. But in terms of the shape, I'm like pretty happy with this. I've had to put my lamp on, guys, because it's got so dark so quick, it's literally quarter to four. So yeah, I'm now going to work on the pumpkins. I don't think that's going to take me as long because it's a bit more of a simpler shape. Um, but yeah, I will be showing you obviously that process as well. Okay. 
Okay, so I just finished the pumpkin. I'm very happy with how it's turned out. I did a little like stalk on top and then I did a little curly bit because um, some pumpkins have little curls in them. So I'm very happy with how this went. This, don't, this didn't take me that long at all. It took me about 15 minutes um, to kind of think of and write up. But what I was thinking was doing some sort of like detailed, um, like indent detail uh, of the pumpkin to create kind of a bit more shape because I think it's looking a little bit more, f a little bit flat. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt that now. If it doesn't go to plan, then it's fine. But yeah.
Okay, so I'm now onto the final stage of designing the book sleeve. I've literally now just got to make the actual part of the book sleeve. I'm not going to fully make it at this point because otherwise I'll just be wasting wool. I'm going to make and start the first few rows. So I'm going to start by making a chain that is the length of the spine because I want this book sleeve to be like a landscape one. And I may even add a few handles to the, the side of it to kind of make it like a little bag. And I'm definitely going to do some sort of button uh, add some sort of button I mean and uh, what else oh and like a little fold over buttonhole but yeah I'm going to make a chain that is long enough for the spine and then I'm going to basically crochet across the width of the book I'm only going to do a few rows of that because I'm going to save the actual full part of it for the tutorial that I will film later this week and I haven't decided what stitch I wanted to do but off the top of my head I'm thinking either like the Elizabeth stitch or maybe the moss stitch but I don't know I will have a little play about and see see how it goes but yeah So this is what a few rows of the Elizabeth stitch was looking like. I quite like it, it's quite a nice textured um, stitch and it's very stretchy as well and I think it's going to look good against the deer but I'm still not sure and I'm going to try out the moss stitch anyway but I just thought I'd show you guys what it's looking like so far. It's very like kind of bobbly, textured but I think with this particular yarn being like a multi multi-coloured yarn it works quite nicely. So this is what the moss stitch is looking like. I don't think I prefer this one, to be honest. I don't feel like you can really tell the difference in this to just a normal single crochet row, especially with this colour yarn. It's just kind of like getting lost in it. So I think that I am going to go with the Elizabeth stitch, but let me know what you guys think. If you think you prefer the Elizabeth stitch or the moss stitch. But yeah, I just, I don't feel like it's as, it looks as good. And I think that the effect of the Elizabeth stitch is going to, um, be a lot nicer so yeah I think I'm gonna go with that one well guys that concludes this very cozy vlog I hope you enjoyed this one it was really nice to just sit down and kind of relax and film kind of just what I'm doing rather than um, like a full tutorial but don't worry um, you will definitely be seeing a tutorial for this book sleeve and kind of how it's going to to fully come out um, so yeah I hope you guys all have a good weekend and you are keeping well and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!